welcome to San Jose village and welcome to Green Creek Farmers Cooperative area. The group has 30 members of which most of them are farmers. My name is Justino Mez. I'm the founder of the Green Creek Farmers Cooperative. This group was started from 1982 and the first thing what we start to plant is cacao. And after that we start to plant rice and the rice coming up and beans coming up. A lot of things is coming up because it's a new land. It's a good soil. And we plant cassava, we plant chocho, we plant pepper, we plant soup yam, we plant uh, sweet potato, and we plant yampi and extra. Um, I am the part of the Green Creek members. Right now we, we are harvesting these peanuts. Um, we planted 90 days and right now we are ready. We thought of thinking of a better way of farming and so they started to think about what are, who can help us or, or where we can get help. So of recent, about two to three years ago, we thought of seeking help, seeking help like in grants, so we can uplift the road, so that we can access the land easily to see what resources that we can use wisely. And so we were able to get a grant from GF to the help of Yakche. And we just recently demarcated our land. It's a 2,500 acres of land. And we um, pass it in two, I mean, to three sections. The first section is for annual farm. And the next section is for farming crop, like so if you want to expand your cocoa. That's why you have the next section. And the third section is left aside like a conservation so that we could keep the piece of that ear just for conservation like if you need to to find sticks holes or or to protect the, the environment because as we know that um, those ears that it's uh, about 75 percent of forest that's why we keep those here aside and then we know that we want to keep the wildlife as well just for the home we also did many trainings for the farmers in cacao pruning and agroforestry and they also do um, training for youths and elders and members of the Green Creek with the GPS reading. My name is Sephirina Ku, I am one of the youth for the Green Creek. I am one of the participants who went for the GPS training. Also I am one of the one who went to demarcate the Green Creek boundary line. I learned a little bit in part of everything what they come and teach us. But of most of all we also get a bulldozer to upgrade the road and also to build a bridge that is very important for the community and so they were we were able to complete the bridge. The bridge is not only for Green Creek, it's for 75% of the farmers that go to their farmland. Now the plan for the group right now is to to do a sustainable farming because we all know climate change is changing the weather and we want to involve the youth, the women, because we know that women are farmers too and youth, we want to bring youths together and we want to work together because we know that we have fun and we want to continue work and then as I mentioned before we know that we are as a cooperative we want to work together and we want to move on with our project and then we know that it's important for us to, to stay together.